So this is the inside caps construction of Jerry. So the inside, you see, it has lace across the front and then a lace parting down the middle of the braid. So that's what kind of gives you that parting down the center. It's braided at the top and then the under layers are just wavy weave track. So it's not braided all the way throughout. I wouldn't say about half, halfway it's braided and then at the very, very back, these are just wavy tracks that match the pattern of the braided top. So, but it's enough to give the appearance of a fully braided lace wig. We have um, the two combs at the temples, you have the comb in the back, and you have adjustable straps. So, let's see what she looks like on. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so this is Jerry. Okay, this is Sis Wig Lace Braid Jerry. Okay, the sister wig. And um, I have her an OMB 1B66R, which is like, you know, 1B mixed with the, with the red. So, I really like this wig. You know, you see how natural. I didn't put any concealer or anything in the part, but I don't think that it really needs too much because of, it really does look like I got my hair braided. I And I absolutely can tell this is one of those things that I will be getting in many other colors. Like, it looks so natural. Um, I just pulled some of my edges out. And um, I'm pretty sure if I put some concealer, that would make that part look even more natural. But um, the way it's translating on camera with me looking at it, it looks just fine. It really looks like I went and got some micro braids. Isn't that awesome? I know since the internet went crazy over lace front braids. But if you really think about it, braids take a long time to do. And let's see, hmm, I paid $45 for this on a website, and it took me all of five minutes to prep by cutting off the lace, so now that the lace is cut off, that's done, it's not like you have to do that again. Then, putting her on, adjusting my edges to match, you're talking about what, five minutes? And I look like I have you know full micros so I'm not sure why people were hating on the idea but braids take a long time to put in to take out to get done they cost a lot more money than this would so I think this is an awesome perfect solution to this now as I showed in the inside caps construction she has the two um, combs at the temple the comb in the back and adjustable straps big head diva friendly y'all this this wig is definitely big head diva friendly um there's not really much else I can say. Like I said, it's braided at the top enough so that it looks as though you have micros. And then at the bottom, it's just a wavy, a wet and wavy kind of look that follows the pattern of the open-ended braid at the bottom. And then it has a little more red at the, the bottom, but it is braided through um, the hair. And I messed up one of my braids because it got... So I'm a little annoyed. I'm going to just have to take scissors and kind of fixed it um because it got stuck on you know all that foolish packaging that they put in the box it's like okay i get it you're trying to pack the wig but some of those things on things like this they snag and but you can't tell until i just pointed it out it really just looks like micros i mean i feel like you you have a little bit of versatility now i don't think no you can't part it anywhere else but where it was part of that but that's fine enough for me because you can always cock her a little bit to the side and even though this is the part um, with her lined up is slightly off center it's not really down the center or maybe that's just the way that I have her on it's it looks fine just like that you know um, you know this this is awesome guys micros in 10 minutes you can't get any better than that not even five minutes you have a head full of micros well, the appearance of a head full of micros. And if you are tired of these micros tomorrow, you can take them off. If you want some blonde micros tomorrow, you can get another color. This wig is awesome, and I definitely will be buying her more colors. So, you guys let me know what you, what you think. Um, I have been watching this one for a while. It's not necessarily a new wig, but it's not an old wig either. And I've been watching it for a while because when she first came out, she was like $70. 
and um, in store. And then I went online and, and she was like sixty dollars. And finally, I found a website that had it for forty five. And I'm like, ah, that's a go. So I'm gonna go back and get more colors. I do like this. I do like the idea of it. I hope you know more companies follow suit with with similar things and maybe bigger box braids and try to bring the price point down. Now I understand a lot of you know uh, construction and it's it's probably very tedious to do this, but bring that price point down and you'll sell more units because most braided lace fronts are like two hundred dollars. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'd rather just wear regular hair or go get my hair actually box braided before I pay to do it. But I do get the whole concept of it. Um but like I said, so sis try how about the next one make bigger box braids and that way you know you don't have to have the wet and wavy in the back and, and the braids in the front so anyway i made this video long enough you guys let me know what you think do you have her holla at me see you guys in my next video peace thanks for watching